Joining us on a Friday night at 5 o'clock, two people are dead after the triple shooting in East Price Hill. Police say they believe it was a murder-suicide. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nemo has been working to get the latest information about just what happened out there. She's joining us now live with the latest. Taylor? Yeah, Craig, Tanya, police say they believe Dustin Boland shot two people before turning the gun on himself. Now, I spoke with a neighbor who says Boland texted her just moments before pulling the trigger. Dustin texted me to ask me to take care of, you know, his wife and, and daughter. I texted back and I said, what's going on? I heard three bangs. Are you OK? I'm getting worried. As soon as she heard the ambulance, she says she ran outside. Kind of in panic and then I saw Shelby on the ground and that's when I ran across the street to see if they were OK and they didn't know what was going on. Police say they found Shelby Carpenter and a woman at the end of Wells Street on Thursday. They later found Dustin Bolin in a wooded area with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Court documents show Carpenter was Bolin's landlord. He was trying to evict Bolin. Neighbors tell us they were also father and son. He uh, pretty much just, you know, let his son know that, you know, he was going to be get evicted. And we're learning more about who the other victim was. He had gotten help to do that, and I guess that was the woman that was part of this. She was actually helping. She was she helped Shelby do the paperwork. She was here to pick him up to take him to court. Court documents show they had a hearing scheduled for the eviction at 930 Thursday morning, just about 30 minutes after the shooting happened. We spoke with neighbor Micah Spidey. She told us she's still in shock and was working to learn the details of what happened. I'm really trying to figure out who it was so I can because I do know a couple people down that way. I asked her if she wanted me to tell her the names. Yes, please. So it was um, Shelby Carpenter and Dustin Bolin. <sighs> oh my goodness, that don't make no sense. You knew him? Mm hmm. A difficult time for those who knew them. It's really hit me hard. It's hit my stomach. I, 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 I had to walk away. I just, it's just one of those situations where you just. The woman who was shot is still in the hospital tonight and she remains in critical condition. Reporting live from East Price Hill, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News.